In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to implement the improved Euler's method when solving an ODE using Microsoft Excel. Our goal is to solve an initial value problem which can be expressed in the normal form where dy dt is equal to f of ty. f is sometimes called the direction or slope field. Also, the value of y when at t0 is given as y0. Recall from the previous video that in the standard Euler's method, we partition the t-axis as such, and the next y value is predicted as the previous value plus some change in y, which is given as the slope function evaluated at the beginning of the interval times delta t. And we continue to iterate these two expressions to derive our numerical solution. Now in the improved Euler's method, we introduce two new expressions, one, uppercase F1, uppercase F2. Well, F1 is simply the slope of the solution curve at the beginning of the interval. So we evaluate the direction field at the beginning of the interval. And then using that value, we predict the slope at the end of the interval, t sub n plus 1, by computing y as being yn plus delta y. Now with the slope at the beginning and end of the interval, the improved Euler's method determines the next value as being the previous value plus the average of those two slopes times delta t. The specific problem that we will be solving is the first order differential equation dy dt plus y is equal to t with y of 0 given at 0 0.05. To put this equation in the normal form, we isolate, solve for dy dt, and thus write our slope function as being t minus y. As a quick aside, we might mention that this differential equation can actually represent the voltage on a capacitor in an RC network. From Kirchhoff's voltage law, we have that the voltage across the resistor, I times R plus the voltage across the capacitor, is equal to the applied voltage. Now, recognizing that for the series circuit, the current can be expressed as C times the rate of change of the capacitor voltage, and substituting that value into the first equation, we get this equation right here for the capacitor voltage, first order differential equation. RC, V prime, where V is the capacitor voltage, plus V is equal to the applied voltage. What we do is we will normalize the RC product, known as the time constant, to be equal to 1, and we will see what happens to the circuit when our impressed voltage is simply a ramp voltage. Making these substitutions, the equation for the RC circuit becomes V prime plus V is equal to T, and of course letting Y be equal to V, that's the equation that we'll be solving. For this problem, the equation of the slope functions F1 is simply the direction field evaluated at the beginning of the interval, which is Tn minus Yn. F2 is our prediction of the slope at the end of the interval, which is the T value here, which is now T to n plus 1, minus our predicted Y value, Yn plus 1 plus change in Y. This method is referred to as a predictive corrective method. Now let us go to Excel and see how to implement this algorithm. Okay, so we will begin by assigning our delta t value to a specific cell. And we'll set 
our initial delta t to be 0 0.1. Next, we will label the columns that we're going to be using. First column will be n for the iteration number, column for time values, column for the y values, 1 for f1, and for f2. T0 will set to be equal to 0, and our initial y value is 0.5, and we can interpret this as the capacitor having an initial charge of 1 half a volt. Now for F1, we insert the formula, so we begin by hitting equal, and up here notice a reminder, F1 is Tn minus Yn. So we're going to put Tn minus Yn. F2 is equal to T sub n plus 1. So that would be Tn plus delta T. Now here we're making a constant reference, so we have to insert the dollar symbols. So we have Tn plus 1 minus the quantity Yn plus F1 times delta T. And again, we will insert the dollar symbols, close parentheses, and we now go down to Put a formula for t. So our next value of t is going to be equal to the previous value plus delta t. Our y value will be equal to the previous y value plus the average slope. So it's going to be f1 plus f2 divided by 2, gives us average slope, times delta t. Next, what we do is we go over to F1 and F2 and pull down to update the next two values. Now, since we're going to be evaluating the results on the interval 0 to 1.2, we will require 12 iterations. Now to iterate these formulas for n going from 1 up to 12, we just select this row here and we can double click and it will update. We'll pull down the formulas. To graph our result, we select the T and Y columns and we select chart up above and we'll do a scatter chart and there we have it. Now after some editing as demonstrated in the previous video our result team graph looks like this. We can see the capacitor voltage starts at one half and because the input voltage is below that value initially, the capacitor discharges and then begins to charge. Now, to compare this to the exact solution which we have given here, we will compute the exact values at these particular points by entering the formula. So the exact solution to this differential equation is 
negative 1 plus t value plus 1.5 times e to the minus t. And to compute those values, we will double click on the pull down button and see the results. Now we could graph this exact solution to compare it to our predicted solution. However, the results are so close, as you can see them right here, that the graph will fall right on top of this, thus readily demonstrating the superiority of the improved Euler method versus the standard Euler method. Finally, we like to just demonstrate how we can change our input to the circuit and see what the response will be. To modify the equation to see what happens with a different input voltage, you simply change what you have put in for the slope functions. For example, here I'm allowing the input now to be 1 volt instead of just a T value. So notice here in the cell for F1 I've inserted a 1. With an input voltage of 1, we would expect the capacitor now to charge from its initial value 0.5 volts up to the input of 1 volt, which we see here. We also would expect that it takes five time constants to do that. So notice here in about five seconds the voltage has just about reached 1 volt. Further, I have changed the delta T value to 0.5 and we still get the familiar charge curve for the capacitor, showing the improved Euler method gives us good results even with a delta T value of a half a second. I leave it as an exercise for you to make the other modifications to obtain this chart. Thank you for watching.